my name is David Ewing, I'm 27 years of age. I was originally born in Adelaide, Australia, but now live in Shanghai, China. I'm proud to be a pro at Hero Poker. Since I first started out in about 2005, the tournament scene's become huge. There's a lot of tours going around now. There's a lot of um, people exclusively just play tournaments who are doing very, very well at it. Um, the, online, the online community is just getting bigger and bigger. It's getting borderline scary. You, know, there's, you just find games anywhere to play. Even, um, yeah, even going back home to Adelaide, when you come to Melbourne, poker is just huge now. And everywhere we travel, it's, it's like poker players are becoming celebrities. Yeah, it's really cool. I remember the first time I played poker, it was at Crown Casino. I went to stay with my cousin um, and he snuck me into Crown Casino. We went to play, um, it's called Manila, which is card seven or up. And he snuck me in, had absolutely no idea what I was doing. And I bought in for $60 and I remember the board pair in the river and I called a guy down with a straight and I nearly cried for $4. <laughs> but yeah, that was my first time, first, first introduction to any form of poker, I guess. <laughs> Still do cry. Without doubt, my favourite player is Phil Galfon. Um, being an Omaha specialist myself, I mean, every asset of his game is, is just, it's just astounding. You know, you can play aggressive, you can play heads up, you can play full ring, you can play any style of game and just, he just makes, he just makes, he plays perfect Omaha all the time. You never see him tilt, you never see him make mistakes, you know, and his articles are just, they're mind-boggling to read. It's just like a completely different level. Without doubt, the older players definitely have a better feel for the game. You know, it's a lot of, um, even myself coming from, um, I started off playing live, but then got predominantly playing online. Coming back to live, I don't have a good feel for the game. Even though we may play a lot more aggressive, we understand situations a bit better, but they have a really good feel and understanding for the game, which is an asset, you know, which every internet player, if they had, would, would be better than those guys. But, you know, just because they have these sorts of traits, I mean, they can compete with almost anyone in the world. One thing I strive to be is always insatiable. No matter what, I never, never want to get complacent. Always strive to be better. So whether that be reading forums, I mean, obviously one of my team pros, Julian, I regularly talk to. We discuss hand histories. We discuss any strategies, players, etc. You know, you just always strive to be better and always want to be better. And there's there's a lot of tools out there. Whether it be videos, whether it be your friends you can discuss with, whether it be stats, everything. Even just reading articles, ir irrespective of whether it's going to be a benefit to you. At least it's a different angle of something you never really thought about. I believe it's a great opportunity to be joining, uh, becoming a pro on Hero Poker. Um, all five guys, you know, come from astounding backgrounds, and it's truly humbling to be um, to be recognised a part of them. So hopefully, the future looks great for all of us. You know, to many, many years of success ahead.